Hello, this is Pamela, the Stampin' Pink Rose, and this is a Wow Wednesday. So, it's a quick tip. And so, our tip is on one of these items that's retiring out that I was kind of like, boo hoo, I'm crying, never mind. Because it was relatively new last year. I absolutely love it because I think it's versatile. And it is the Curvy Trio Punch. And I want to show you a little bit about using it. Okay, so. One of them is this one that I just found a saying. I've been working on a lot of wedding cards. Congratulations, you, you two. And look at the little ends on this. So I pre-cut a one-inch strip, and I do want to grab one thing, so hang on. Why is it I always forget my trimmer? Um, anyway, so I grabbed a one inch strip. Okay, so this is what I've done. Do you see the little curvy here? You're just going to simply slide it in here and you're going to punch. If I get it going. Okay, you're going to flip it. I don't think it punched real good. I have to turn it upside down. Okay, I'm going to do this one more time on this side. Okay, kind of messed it up a little because I've had it turned the wrong direction. So anyway, you're going to punch on the end. It will end up like this if you're not doing it upside down. And then what you need to do is figure out how long is your words and add a half inch to the end. So, if I'm doing, let's say, a 3 inch, where I want from here, and I'm going to bring this down. If I want it from here to 3 inch, then I'm going to add it and I'm going to make it a 3 and a half. So, to make this a 3 and a half, it's right here. And I'm going to cut. Then I'm going to punch again, and I'm going to do it this way because it was not punching good upside down. But you've got the curve. I'm going to try to see. see I've got it in here on this side. So all I'm going to do is push it in, punch down. Then I've got it correct, and I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to punch again. And now I have the nice end. Just don't do it upside down. Then you'll have the nice end on this. Okay? So there's one for you on the curvy punch. Next one, I didn't even glue this together, is this one here. So you've got one inside the other, and you've got it in a totally different look. So let's look at this. I took this, and I took this one here, and I slid it in. And there is a piece right here, and that's where you're sliding it. You're going to slide it in, and you're going to punch. You're going to flip over, slide it back in where it's against this piece. I'm going to go to the end. I'm going to do it, and I'm going to flip it, and I'm going to do it again. Now, I didn't measure this pre-cut, and I should have. Then all I'm going to do is take this, I'll measure it now, because I should have measured it a few minutes ago, but I wasn't thinking of words. Okay, so I have got this really at about a four and a fourth is what it is. So I want to make this about four and a half. Okay, so let's do this instead. Let's do a precaution. Let's take it, slide one in. Punch it, flip it, and punch again. Okay, now you've got this in. Now you should sand, and I have got to bring in my sander. So just sand around the edge to kind of straighten it out and smooth it out on this. Okay, now I've got this, so let's see. I need a piece 
that is five and four. I'm going to make this five and a half. And let's see how that looks. Okay. I'm going to make this five and a half. Add a half inch is what you need to do. Punch. Okay. Now let's see how it fits. Not bad. Okay. I would smooth it out and round it out. Okay. Okay, two spots on this punch. Now you've got two different designs. Okay, now you have one more. I just took a piece of paper as though like I'm doing a banner or something like that. Okay, up at the very bottom top, whatever you want to call it, is a little slit. I just punched that right there. I brought out some ribbon. I think it's pear pizzazz. I'm not going to guarantee it. And if I was doing a banner or a tag, I would simply slide it through like that and tie it off. And now you would have a tag. So you're going to get three easily uses out of this Curvy Trio Punch. So you really need to get this before it retires out. I think it's wonderful. I think it's a great idea. You're going to see me use it from time to time. And if you don't have it, you're just going to have to find another, another way to do it. But I am going to use it on it. If I find something I like, guys, I go ahead and use it even if it's retired. And then sometimes I'll just say you're just going to have to find another label or something to do this to get your shape. But anyway, this is Pamela the Stampin' Pink, Pink Rose with a Wow Wednesday. And don't forget to check out my blog. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter if you haven't done it because when you know, the first time you subscribe, you'll get a free PDF file as a gift. Uh, you can also subscribe to my blog if you would like. Uh, I have people all the time subscribing to all my YouTube channels, which is wonderful. If you need a catalog, you'll find at the bottom of today's post, uh, also at the top along the panel, you'll see where you can request a catalog. So you can do a catalog one of two ways and get the catalog for the new June 1 because it is fabulous and I've already been using some of the colors and I'm having a lot of fun with some of the items. So until we talk again, this is Pamela the Stamp, Stamp and Pink Rose. Have a great day, and thanks for joining me on a WOW Wednesday.